Hi student, this is the teaching video for 5.1 part 3 which is on the advantages and disadvantages for the consecutive number filing. As we learned in a previous video regarding on what is the consecutive number filing, okay, which is we arrange the record in the ascending order from the lowest to the highest numbers. Apart from that also, we already learned there is a four components of consecutive number filing. So here, um, you need to know what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the consecutive number filing. Okay, as you can see on the right side of the screen, okay, I put it again the the, the features of that uh, that storage so you can have a view on it when I explain. Right. So here, when we talk about advantages, the first is actually the filing will be quick and easy after we put a rough sorted okay when we put on the rough sorted here we will put in the alphabetical order but when we put uh, even though on the alphabetical order but we also will be assigned the record with the number so when the record have a number the numbers are more easy easily for us to uh, to do a sorting okay kita buat uh, nombor lebih senang untuk kita susun right and the second advantage is the expenses of the system is easily and unlimited. It means here, kalau you have a system consecutive number number filing, okay, uh, for example, for today, you have until 260 uh, file number. So, besok kalau nak tambah lebih 10, kita tambah dekat belakang dia. Kita tak akan interfile, interfiling. Interfiling maksudnya tiba-tiba kita nak selitkan dia dekat, dekat di antara 253 dengan 254, tak boleh. Sebab nombor tu telah diassign kepada uh, that particular uh, orang kata program ni. Okay. And the, well, the file guides are prepared easily because the number needed are predictable. Okay. Maksudnya kat sini kita punya file guide 250, 260. So kita tahu next 270. So kita dah boleh prepare siap-siap. Alright. And the last one. And files can be removed or rearranged in a section that we move together. Maksud dia, kalau kita keluarkan file ni, kita tahu uh, kalau contoh macam I, I give the example in the previous video, uh, 256, file number 256 dia bawa keluar. So, bila kita nak masukkan balik, kita senang. Uh, kita cari 250, lepas tu kita akan go through here. So, that means by when we remove or rearrange file in the section, it, this section is more easier. Okay, however, that will be the disadvantages of this uh, filing method at which the contentions of often is created in the last sections of the file while the several user need to assess the newest record located at the end of the files. Okay, maksud dia selalunya record-record uh, yang terkini dia akan berada di, di bahagian belakang. So, bila filing tu kita nak buat ramai-ramai bila lebih daripada uh, uh, penuh seorang staff uh, kita akan contention maksudnya sesak. Okay, sesak untuk kita lakukan uh, filing on the same same apa same drawer right and here uh, the disadvantages is that each bila bertambah and, and entire numbers must be read and accurate filing and the rows so kalau ikutkan no, 250 250 3 digit dia senang nak baca dan ingat tetapi it's become remembering become more difficult when the numbers become larger maksudnya nombor mungkin bertambah uh, lebih daripada 3 digit contohnya 6 digit untuk ingat agak susah and the digits in the long numbers are more likely to be transposed or reversed by the person assigned the number. Okay, maksud dia, uh, somehow we, uh, when the numbers is in the uh, larger numbers, okay, nombor tu panjang, so possibility kita nak transpose, reverse, maksudnya ada setengah-setengah digit, kita terbalik, terterbalik. So, bila dia terbalik or transpose, dia akan menyebabkan file number dah silap. Okay, bila kita nak cari balik, akan jumpa ataupun susah untuk jumpa right and lastly it will be time consuming ok this is a safe with the others um, uh, filing method at which we required to do uh, uh, the rigorous uh, kata, um, planning on the, uh, the, the filing itself alright so the next uh, video will be on the terminal digit numbering method stay tuned with me